Sponsorship for this program provided by the Ed and Don DeCarbo Funeral Home and Crematory Incorporated with two locations, 941 South Mill Street, Newcastle and 3000 Wilmington Road, Neshanic Township.
Good morning, and today is Monday of the second week of Easter. Our liturgy this morning is going to be offered for Louis and Rose Pomero and George Lamorella. Sing with all the saints in glory, sing the resurrection song. Death and sorrow, earth's dark story, to the former days belong. All around the clouds are breaking, soon the storm of time shall cease. In God's likeness we awaken, knowing everlasting peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we continue to celebrate these Easter mysteries, we confidently place ourselves in God's tender and loving care. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly life, may be transformed in the image of our heavenly maker through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God with one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, you said by the Holy Spirit through the mouth of our father David, your servant, why did the Gentiles rage and the people entertain folly? The kings of the earth took their stand and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they gathered in this city against your holy servant Jesus, whom you appointed, whom you anointed, Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal and signs and wonders are done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. As they prayed, they placed where they had gathered, the place where they had gathered shook and they were filled with the Holy Spirit and continue to speak the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Blessed are they who take refuge in the Lord. Blessed, Blessed are, are they who take, take refuge in the Lord. Lord. Why do the nations rage and the peoples utter folly? The kings of the earth rise up and the princes conspire together against the Lord and his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. Blessed are they who take refuge in the Lord. He who is enthroned in heaven laughs. The Lord derives them. In, then in anger he speaks to them. He terrifies them in his wrath. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the deeds of the Lord. Blessed, Blessed are, are they, they who take, who take refuge, refuge in, in the Lord. Lord. 
The Lord said to me, you are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall scatter them like an earthen dish. Blessed, Blessed are, are they, they who take, take refuge, refuge in, in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. If then you are raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, how can a man once grown old be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of flesh is flesh, and what is born of spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Praise Jesus Christ. I first began the privilege of reading at Mass when I was in high school, right after confirmation. And I remember distinctly being happy when we finally got into the Easter season because then we didn't read from the Old Testament, which could oftentimes be a tongue twister, and we were able to read from the Acts of the Apostles. But as I've grown older and maybe a tiny bit wiser, I come to realize the real joy of reading from the Acts of the Apostles is the wonderful proof of the resurrection that that story is. Think about it, prior to the Acts of the Apostles, while we're reading the Gospels, which came first, we see that no one is really getting what Jesus is saying or doing, especially the disciples themselves. You consider the person of Peter and Nicodemus, how they are in the dark. Well, Nicodemus comes to Jesus in the dark. Unfortunately, he remains in the dark intellectually in what Jesus is trying to tell him. Peter is also in the dark in many conversations and situations with Jesus. But notice in the Acts of the Apostles how Peter is a completely different person. He's bold, he's articulate, he's daring, he's not afraid. It sounds like a completely different person. And in some ways it is. He becomes another proof of the resurrection because of the change that the resurrection and his encounter with the risen Christ and the gift of the Holy Spirit made in who he is. 
We are so blessed to be a parish named after the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is the gift that changes everything. That is what Jesus was talking to Nicodemus about. The gift of the Holy Spirit. And he couldn't grasp it because he was so a victim of his culture, of his education, of his world. And too often times, so are we. We are so caught up in thinking like our culture thinks. Thinking like the media thinks. That we fail to think as Christ thinks. St. Paul says we have to put on the mind of Christ. And when we see the apostles do this in the Acts of the Apostles, we see a world of difference. And they change our world. What about you and me in the midst of everything that's going on today? You, you can't begin a day or end a day without the effects of the coronavirus and distancing and all the rest. That's the situation we find ourselves in. But that does not limit us or our potential when we wed ourselves to the Holy Spirit, to the Spirit of Christ. Then we see the world differently. We see the wonderful opportunities. Think of this. Families that were pretty much strangers because they were like ships passing in the night. Busy, 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 busy. How many people say they can't get the masks on the weekend because they're so busy? Well, <laughs> now you can't get there for other reasons, but you can be a family. How many families during this time actually have the opportunity, whether they take advantage of it or not, to sit down as a family and eat together? Get to know one another. There are people who live in the same house who really don't know each other. They just assume they do. What are the opportunities in this time for us to grow in the spirit? To be more alive and sensitive to Christ present in our midst. And not be so captivated, a prisoner of our culture and our society. Instead of free to be people of the Spirit, to see Christ in the midst of all this, and to hear him calling us to do our part to make his risen presence more real in our world. Not waiting for someone else to do it, but doing it ourselves, being him ourselves to receive the gift of his Holy Spirit that changes everything. Today, during this Easter season, let's you and I pray that we might not remain in the dark as Nicodemus did, but come to the light of the Holy Spirit in our own lives, in our own homes, and renew our faith in the risen Christ that changes everything. With faith and confidence in Christ risen from the dead and our desire to receive the gift of his Holy Spirit, let us place our prayers before him now. For Pope Francis, may the Holy Spirit continue to guide him as he shepherds his flock, the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may God grant them the courage and wisdom in protecting the dignity and sanctity of human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who do not yet believe in God, 
May the Lord stir in their hearts a desire to know him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may the Holy Spirit increase in us the fruits of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, for members of our families, friends, and benefactors, for all who will die this day, and we remember especially Louis and Rose Palmiro and George Lamorella, for whom Mass is being offered. May they now partake in the heavenly banquet of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pause now to add our own intentions in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now conclude with our parish prayer. Lord Jesus, Jesus you, you told us where your, your treasure is, is there, there your heart, heart is also. The, the parish of Holy Spirit, Spirit treasures our faith in you, our children, our children and every person who gathers here. Help us to have the courage to sacrifice, to love, and to build in your name. Guide us by your spirit of wisdom, give success to the work of our hands, and keep us in your peace. Saints, martyrs, and Mary our mother, pray for us. Amen. Open my eyes, Lord, help me to see your face. Open my eyes, Lord, help me to see. Open my ears, Lord, help me to hear your voice. Open my ears, Lord, help me to hear. Open my heart, Lord, help me to love like you. Open my heart, Lord, help me to love. And the first shall be last, and our eyes are open, and we'll hear like never before. And we'll speak in new ways, and we'll see God's face in places we've never known. I live within you, deep in your heart, Oh, love, I live within you. Rest now in me. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that we ourselves in these gifts we offer be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your exalted church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that these gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but especially during this time, above all, to give you glorious praise through Christ our Passover who has been sacrificed. He is the true Lamb who takes away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, he has restored our life. And so every creature, every people exalts with praise. Even heavenly powers and angelic hosts sing together a hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give you praise, Father Most Holy, for you are great and have 
fashioned all your works in wisdom and love. You formed us in your own image and set us over the whole world to serve you, our creator, and to rule over all creatures. Even when we disobeyed you and lost your friendship, you did not abandon us to the power of death, but helped all to seek and find you. Again and again you offered covenants and through the prophets taught us to hope for salvation. Father, you so loved the world in the fullness of time, you sent your only Son to be our Savior. He was conceived through the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, a man like us in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to those in sorrow joy. In fulfillment of your will he gave himself up to death. But by rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again. He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as his first gift to those who believe, to complete his work on earth and to bring us the fullness of joy. Therefore, O Lord, we pray by this same Holy Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought for your consecration so that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery, which he left us as an everlasting covenant. For when the time had come for him to be glorified by you, his Father most holy, having loved his own in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, again he gave you thanks, and giving it to his disciples said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death, his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the acceptable sacrifice which brings salvation to the whole world. Lord, look upon this sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church and grant in your loving kindness all who partake of this one bread and one chalice may be gathered into the one body of Christ by the Holy Spirit and truly become a living sacrifice in Christ healed of all division and sin. Therefore, Lord, remember now all those for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those here present, and all your people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, Saint Joseph, your apostles and martyrs, and all the saints in your kingdom. There, with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, we too will glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you give us everything that is good. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We dare to pray in the words of our Savior. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the risen Christ be with you all. And with your spirit, let us offer to one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. the body and blood of Christ, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And we pray our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. In some ways, Nicodemus had a good excuse for remaining in the dark and not knowing what was going on, even though he spoke with Jesus face to face. But we have no excuse because you and I are one with the risen Christ. We have received baptism that Jesus described to Nicodemus and over the course of our lives, we have received his body and blood, and many of us, the gift of his Holy Spirit and confirmation. So we have no excuse but to allow the Spirit of Christ to make you and me a living proof of his resurrection, even in our world today. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew with eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and keep you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace.
Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Oh, what glory far exceeding all that I has yet perceived. Holiest hearts for ages pleading, never that full joy conceived. God has promised, Christ prepares it. There on high our welcome waits. Every humble spirit shares it. Christ has passed the eternal gates. <laughs> 